And welcome back, everybody. This is Movies of Beyond. I'm Callum. That's Crispy Kyle. Kyle, how are we doing? Hungry, mate. Yeah? Yeah. Yeah. No time like the present, I suppose. Um, what, what have you been up to today, mate? Just working, mate. Just working. Yeah. Did you have a fun day at work, or...? I'm bored out of my mind. Bored out of your mind, yes. Definitely. Uh, Come wait to see you. Mate, don't. Because I don't want to get a stiffy in the first couple of seconds at the show. No. I did just think, I was like, when I finished work, I'm like, oh shit. Friday's so close. I can't wait for Friday. So much going on. Invincible. I don't think we're getting a couple of episodes. Though. I think we're only getting... Um, I think we're only getting one. Not good enough. Because we're getting four episodes in 2023. And we're getting four episodes in 2024. That is harsh shit to me, though. <laughs> well, well. Anyway. So much to cheer you up. Uh... Marvel I've just already cheered up. You what? Go on, chew, mate. Go on, chew. Get it out. Get it out. Punch you on that. No, I just said I'm, I'm, I just cheered up. <laughs> yeah. Anyway, it will it'll cheer you up even more. Uh, Avengers Secret Wars, or Avengers Six, or whatever you want to call it. Uh, there's been an article in Variety today. Uh, you know about this already, that Marvel are uh, very much so trying to get back their original Avengers for uh, Secret Wars in big roles as well, not just cameos. They want them in big roles. Uh, obviously, Scarlett Johansson, uh, Robert Downey Jr. at the top of that list. And then the other Avengers are kind of... because they're on about bringing back dead characters, but... Chris Evans, Captain America, may or may not be alive. Bruce Banner's still alive. Thor's still alive. Hawkeye's still alive. Um, but they want their original Avengers back, especially Robert Downey Jr. That is who they are gunning for and going after the most. They want Robert Downey Jr. back. Um, you know, and they kind of said that they realised they kind of made a mistake by letting go of so many people at the end of uh, Endgame. You know, like at once. Just think in Endgame, we lost Black Widow, Cap, and Iron Man. Like, on screen. And we haven't seen any of them. So, well, no, that's a lie. We've seen Black Widow. <laughs> but we let all these heavy hitters go at once. I really feel like now they're looking at it, it's like, alright, maybe we should have just let Downey go. We should have done everything we could have to keep Chris Evans, to keep to keep Scarlett around for a little bit longer. And then maybe just have Downey go for now. Because Downey was definitely... What I heard was it's, it's a new film. It's not Secret Wars. So they're calling it Avengers 6. Which lines up with Secret Wars. Hmm. So, I think this chair's sinking. Been sat here all night, Kyle. As soon as you come here, sink. So, um, but what do, what do you think about getting the cast back? Do you think it undermines what happened in Endgame, or are you excited to see them? Because while I've been looking for pictures uh, for the thumbnail of Robert Downey Jr. as uh, Iron Man. I've, it's really hit me. It's like, oh my god, I fucking miss this man. I ain't really thought about it so much. I was happy with his ending. But now I'm thinking, I fucking miss this guy as Iron Man. Nothing lasts forever. No. Are you going to elaborate further on this? <laughs> Are you just snacking? <laughs> Hmm? Yeah. Um. So, to elaborate <laughs> on what I just said, 
a little bit more. So, what I mean is, Iron Man is a popular character now for Marvel. He's done really, really well. He's had quite a few movies. He's I would, obviously I would be... say the most popular behind Spider-Man in terms of Marvel. And this is coming from a Captain America fucking fanboy. Because what also, my news reaction is when I tell people Captain America is my favourite, they're like, really? Yeah, I know, because it's like, I thought it'd be Blob from the X-Men. Mate, next time I see you, I'm going to beat the shit out of you, just so you know. <laughs> just so you know. Anyways. Um, no, so... It's, it's, it's that thing of like, oh, this character's great, but they're going to reboot the MCU. So we're going to get a whole new Iron Man, probably. We're going to get a whole new Cap. All new people taking these mantles, these roles. I mean, the MCU is weird in that, like it's 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 ending soon in a sense, but it's not. But it is. Yeah. So, if I brought them back, well, like everything they've set up and planned, and everything that we're hearing about it, where the MCU is going to reboot. It's like, where does this fit in? It doesn't. The only way I see it fitting in is if it's like, a, say, like Tony is a variant. I know we argued a little bit with the Captain America thing. Well, they, but... they've, they're not sure on how they're going to do it. They want to do it. And it's, you know, it says in the article, it's either going to be a variant or they're going to somehow bring back the original Iron Man. Then the only thing I can think of is it's, it's a old, it's a movie set in the past. No, I think it's going to be Secret Wars. Because you want to get that one last hurrah with everyone, and you know they've even said they want to get them on screen with all these legacy characters. And there's no point in having all these legacy characters if you're not gonna be able to get them on screen with your legacy Avengers. Look, I when I heard this, obviously it came from Variety as well. It just it made me a bit concerned because it like it feels like now Marvel could be doing a massive shift in what, what's going on with the MCU and how they've planned it out. Because we know how it's good. We've, we've known for a while how, how it's going to pan out with, like, Kang Dynasty and Secret Wars, especially Secret Wars obviously being, like, the end. Yeah, I, I think it's far too late for them to take back what they did, especially with well, Endgame and everything. Yeah. Well, um... it, if it happens, it needs to be a variant. It can't I, be the original. It I'm 100% can't. with you on that. I'm 100% because with you on that. How are they going to bring back a dead character? What, they're going to go back in time, pick him from another time, from, from when he was alive and bring him to the future? Yeah. That's a variant. That's so, a variant. Variant all the way. Unless they fuck up and really don't understand their own law, which I hope they don't yeah. fuck up. And, and, do and this is, you know, this is where I'm with you on variant, 100%. And it's like, but then in terms of when it comes to cap, it's like, we could have our cap. It, the possibility is, as of as of right now, I'm what I'm concerned about is he is alive in the MCU. Now that might change in Captain America Four. That might change in Thunderbolts or something like that. You know, because that's got a film with Sam in. That's got a film with Bucky in. Um, I'd assume if there was gonna kill Chris Evans' version of Captain America, they would do it in. Captain America 4 and maybe have him die of old age or something I pose this to you then why can't he just be already sort of why does the character have to die to let the character go we don't but I, I'm just saying like as of right now like the possibility is still there that it could be our cap in Secret Wars it could be, but I think it'd be a bit more fun to just have a variant. Yeah, but like I said, Chris Evans spoke about it as well before, and is you know he says he wants to continue that character if he does come back. He wants to build upon what he's already done. So, mm. this, you Sorry, know, I have a couple of fireworks because uh, it's it's first of November. Yeah, yeah. Oh, we're gonna have fireworks all week. It's gonna be ape shit. It's fucking uh, bonfire night on Sunday. <laughs> is it? So it's the same, you, um, you know, because you just said ape shit, and the final topic is about uh, Planet of the Apes. Oh. <laughs> Let's go straight to the final topic. Let's go we'll straight work to the final work topic. our way back up. <laughs> um, but yeah, no. Um, 
obviously we, we've talked we've been talking about this since we came out of Endgame. The possibility. No, we actually we aren't. When we came out of Endgame, we were quite somber and you know we were so happy that we'd seen it, but we was like, what now? I remember you kept, you stayed at mine after Endgame, and I stayed downstairs on my sofa, and I didn't sleep that night. I just sat up, thinking. Which is sounds pretty sad, I know, but this is the stuff we love. Did, didn't I stay... I swear I stayed on your sofa. No, you, st you stayed in my bed. You stayed in my bed, and I stayed on the sofa. Um, I don't fucking remember. I just remember you coming up to me and be like, Kyle... The next show in in an hour. Yeah, because I didn't sleep. We yeah. <laughs> saw a midnight showing and had one book for eight o'clock in the morning day after. Because we couldn't get was it IMAX VIP seats or something? Yeah. We got so um there's a lot of screaming and dogs and shit going on. I can't so I screaming, so it's all right. I apologize. Discord is doing its job and it's it's doing it well, keeping all the ruckus out. Anyways, funny little story with that. So we didn't get like the the i. We always go for the front seats and our IMAX screen. It's it is the best seats. I know some IMAX formatted the way they put their seats. Were some some IMAX front. screens don't have the seats back like ours do. Yeah, as yeah. a back reclined. Oh, it's it's the best. Um, so that's what we wanted to do for Endgame. Unfortunately, we didn't get that. We got like I think it was like the far corner, the same place where we got Deadpool, if I'm not mistaken. Yeah, yeah. Um, so Callum booked then. He was like, they rang me up and he was like, Kyle, I got the seats for IMAX, but it wasn't in the No, recliner. no, 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 that's not why we did it. It's because we couldn't find IMAX on opening night. So I booked tickets. Oh, I swear we watched no, IMAX. No, 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 because here's what happened. No, we did watch it in IMAX in opening night, but I booked... Sorry, guys, we're going on a tangent. We don't care. We're here to talk. Um, We booked normal tickets for the opening night. And, but we did see it in IMAX on opening night. And then, because we didn't get to see it, we thought we weren't going to get to see it in IMAX until the next day. We booked the IMAX tickets first thing in the morning. Whatever. The, but, the way I remember it is, Callum rings me up. He's like, oh, we didn't get the proper or IMAX screen, whatever. I'm like, oh, it's fine. At least we got it for midnight. And he was like, yeah, no, we, we did. Um, I also booked uh, a screening for the next morning at 8 in the morning. So get ready for that. But Kyle... We saw the double feature, didn't we? Infinity we War, then Endgame, mm. which was great to see. That honestly, that theater experience, one of the best of my life. For me, I, I I'd put that up there. I'd put that up there with No Way Home. I'd just say Endgame just topped it out for me just a bit. Um, for me, my best cinema experience with like you know a film after another is definitely Captain America. Oh, when we saw all three Captain Americas. Yeah, really. I, I think it's just the case of like seeing the first because I, I I love the first Captain America. I don't know why. I I don't obviously the second one is the best one. Um, I, I love them all as well. I, I do you know what? they're all fucking great, and it was awesome to see each one because I was like, this feels so different. And then you see the second one; it's so much more different. And then the third one, you got that big civil war climactic thing. Yeah. Um, but yeah, no, so. Do, do, should they come back, the Avengers, our OG Avengers? There'd have to be variants, a lot of them. Will it hold the emotional weight of it? I think it will, because at the end of the day, it's like we had, you know, all we had all the Spider-Man villains that came back and they were technically variants. We loved them all the same. Yes, yeah. the Spider-Men were our original ones, yes, but still, you know. The multiverse is kicking off right now. I don't think anyone cares. If, that, if RDJ and, comes back and he's a variant, I don't think anyone cares. And I think this is the last chance they've got to do this because I believe once they close that multiverse door in Secret Wars, that's it. They've got everything then. They've got Spider-Man. They've got... Well, Sony's got Spider-Man, but they're on good terms with Sony right now. But once they close that multiversal door, they've got X-Men, Fantastic Four... Avengers, they've got, they own everything Marvel, apart from Spider Man, but they can play ball with Sony. So it's uh, it's working out all right for them. And I feel like once they close that multiversal door and they've got everything, they've got no need to do it once they've had everyone together. But then in a couple of years, everyone say, "I want that Captain America to meet that Captain America and do Captain America things." But yeah, anyway. Deadpool 3, Kyle. Deadpool 3. Uh, 
they're going to start shooting up again in shooting up. God, what are they doing? Heroin. <laughs> uh, they're going to start shooting again in uh, 2024, apparently. January 2024. That's the hope. Um, obviously, we were reporting a couple of weeks ago, like, as soon as the actor strike is, they're going to jump back on it. Uh, we've got a topic down here that we're going to speak about in a little bit in regards to the actor strike. Um, but it seems like now that this has been... Just do like your mum and swallow. So, um, they're going to start shooting in 2024, January 2024. Obviously, a lot of uh, a lot of post production has been done on this already. Like Sean Levy, I'm pretty sure he says, "I've done that. He's done that half of the film that he's already shot. He's edited it and everything." Um, uh, so, with this starting shooting now in 2024, do you think we're going to see it in 2024? Potentially, yeah. Um, Post-production stuff doesn't normally take too long. So, But the thing is, this is a big CGI film, so it's like if they rush it, it could end up looking but the, quite... Uh, but then again, as well, they've already done half a film. So they've only got half a film to shoot and half a film to edit and... I suppose they've got all the assets and stuff already, yeah. like, polished, but that's still, it's like, mm, potentially, yeah. So, all right, I'll say this. We'll leave quarter one out of it, uh, so that's obviously January to March, but we'll do Q2, Q3, and Q4. When do you think we're going to see uh, Deadpool, if we do see it in 2024? Q3. Q3, I was thinking that as well. Because we've got... If Thunderbolts can stick to its release date and release in December, then you don't really want anything in Q4 with it as well. Because I, well, I know Eternals and Spider-Man No Way Home released, like, what, less than a month apart from each other? Or just over a month? I don't think that, you know, that obviously didn't hurt Spider-Man. Um, Clearly. Yeah. It were like two separate fucking... It were like they weren't even connected. Yeah, well, they're not. Well, they are. Well, they're not. Well, they are. Uh, just let you know, Kyle stole that glass. Um, but also, another thing that Sean Levy's come out and said... In fact, Kyle didn't steal it. His girlfriend did. Um, Sean Levy's come out and said... Uh, Deadpool oh, God, you, were like, you were like... Liberate! <laughs> Liberate! <laughs> Get another one! I just love people around me stealing... Um, it's from eBay, actually. Yeah, uh, Sean Levy's also said, uh, "Deadpool Three is going to get a new title." Uh, now, Deadpool films have been Deadpool, just Deadpool and Deadpool Two. They've been numbered. They can have some fun here with a title. So, uh, what do you think of the uh, title? Just like throw some titles out there, like they can be as silly as you want. But I think there's one obvious one. About fucking time. Deadpool about fucking time. Okay. <laughs> that could be taken so many different ways. <laughs> yep. He, him and Miss Minutes would get along. The opening shot is just him and Miss Minutes. Just, oh. Kyle, don't take it there. You're better than that. Yep, continue yeah, sipping. You are, because I can tell you're thinking about it. No, I'm not. Uh, Deadpool you know it could be Deadpool in the multiverse of madness what just the piss yeah ah that would be fucking funny that Deadpool no that... way Deadpool no way home Deadpool I'm coming Deadpool love and thunder <laughs> Dead, um, Deadpool, Love and Hugh. But I think the I think the most obvious answer is I think this film's just going to be called Deadpool or Wolverine. I mean, it, you know, yeah. Or it, maybe 
if they're going to attack it in this angle. Deadpool versus Wolverine. Because we have seen them fighting in... in uh, yeah, but then but then you've got that whole conception. I, area yeah, I'm, I'm very that. much thinking it's going to be Deadpool and Wolverine. Because you don't have Wolverine in the film and not put his name in the fucking title. Because that... Wolverine is just as bankable as Deadpool. Hmm. Oh, why, why, why do you, <laughs> Wolverine, um, fucking, you know how Wolverine's film was, the final film was Logan? Yeah. Weird. <laughs> just weird. <laughs> and the first trailer's like, I hurt myself today. Oh. <laughs> Literally, like, the same colour format, yeah. everything's orange. They're in the middle of a fucking desert. That, well, they are in the film, yeah. apparently. No, that's a. I like that. I like that a lot. Weird. Yeah. Uh, okay. Next one. Let's talk about some Daredevil again. Uh, a Punisher producer is going to be the showrunner for uh, Daredevil uh, Born Again. Now, this is coming in line with what you know what Marvel has said. They're not getting movie execs to just you know just glance at the show and be like yeah yeah that's good and stuff like that they're actually gonna start getting showrunners in for the tv shows and they want to do multiple seasons of their tv shows so they're getting a showrunner in that's great someone who was connected to the netflix universe who did a uh, punisher as well now granted i think that first season of punisher is great second season's got some holes in it but that f- i think that first season's fantastic I, I tell you what I, I yes i know i i know it's the second season of punisher wasn't wasn't all that great, but I'll say this. I would choose to watch that over Iron Fist, and I've not even seen Iron Fist, but I've just heard nothing but bad things. Um, so, you know, with that being said, Punisher Season 2, if you're, like, on the fence of watching it, I'd watch it. I enjoyed it. I, I didn't think it was, like, phenomenally great, but it's more... It's just more Punisher stuff, do you know what I mean, in this universe. So, yeah. just throwing it out there. I, you know, if, if you're a bit on the fence of, like, or you've... Nope. You know, heard, Punisher 1 was good, and Punisher 2, not so much. But, yeah, I think they're both pretty good. The first one, obviously, is the better one. But yeah. first season... but then again, I think the Punisher show has got nothing on what he did with Punisher in Daredevil. Yeah. But he were really let loose on that. like. Yeah, but this this is this is something... But, I think, take... but I think what he did in Daredevil was just so good. So good. That it's going to be hard to get anything like that again. But uh, we've got it. We've got it, I suppose. So it's, you know. Yeah. Um, so where, where are your hopes now for Born Again? You know? What do you mean? Well, like, they're getting someone from the Netflix universe. Well, that's, that's to, good, yeah. To oversee it. Like, yeah, obviously like, the whole show. I'm more excited, yeah. Uh, yeah, it adds a little bit more excitement for me as well. Like, obviously, I'd have been excited no matter what. Now. For me, for me, I, I think the thing I'm. Uh, that's put me on the fence a little bit is like not because it's it's they've not you know they're saying it is or it isn't you know they don't really know yet if it's going to continue that same you know it's definitely not a season four but it is but it is yeah you hear different reports every week i've it's definitely connected to that one it's like well kind of kind of not yeah so that's not the thing that's bugging me the most the thing that's bugging me the most are we going to get karen and foggy back yeah because going off the reports from the old scripts we weren't going to be getting Karen and Foggy, and I that would I, I know Daredevil as a character. You know he's in the suit, he's badass, and obviously Matt Murdock and everything is great. But for for me, the character of Daredevil, like the three characters, um, obviously in in the protagonist side of things, Matt, Karen, and Foggy. Like, yeah, the, the, you know you, the, Matt doesn't work well without them, kind of thing. And they, you see they, that in that, season three. I was just about to say, yeah, this man nearly self destructs. Yeah, um, obviously you've got Kingpin coming back. Cannot fucking wait to see him. Yeah. Um, so we had a little bit of a tease in uh, Hawkeye, but yeah, I'm just I'm I'm glad John, that these John guys Berthold are coming back. back. And John Murthal is coming yeah, and, back. You know, this is to the people. Obviously, I'm happy that they, you know, saw that the show wasn't working and they're restarting it. That's great to be able to look at your own stuff as objectively as that and go, no, this isn't good enough. And let's start it again. Now we can only hope that the second project that bring us is gonna meet their expectations, which I truly believe it will. The looks like they're steering stuff in the right direction, and they've got the perfect template. They've got three seasons of perfect Daredevil TV that they can go. 
let's try do this, but we'll make it ours. We'll make it different. Um, but yeah, and another thing I wanted to add on to this is, I always say this when it comes to regards to talking about Charlie Cox, Vincent D'Onofrio as Kingpin and uh, Daredevil. You know, the people wanted these guys back, and we've got that now. But, you know, you give someone an inch to take a mile, and now it's like, it's not season four, so I won't be watching it. You wanted this guy back. He's he's back as Daredevil. And to me, that's the most amazing thing they've done because I really don't think Kevin Feige wanted Charlie Cox as Daredevil. I'm pretty sure he'd ever have a cast his own. But he knew people would not be happy if it wasn't Charlie Cox. And same with Kingpin. I don't think anyone else could play a live-action Kingpin but Vince D'Onofrio. Yeah, they could. Obviously they could. But the the best man for the job is Vinny D. So, uh, yeah. Super excited for Daredevil. Anything Daredevil-related, I'll always be excited about. This is... Like, my Spider-Man. And obviously, we were talking about the other day, Daredevil born again now, possibly leading straight into Spider-Man 4. So, that connectivity is going to be there a bit more. I'm yeah, I, the one thing I kind of hope is, like, obviously, it, it's a big ask, but I'd hope that maybe, like, Peter shows up at the end of the show, and it's, like, just a cliffhanger kind of yeah. thing. You know I mean, like, even if he's not in the suit, it's just like, I really need your help. Like, well, it's like, he, you know, you know like, like he's trying to find a lot, like Spidey's trying, like Peter's trying to find a lawyer or something like that. And he goes, cause he's like, oh, I, I, I know a lawyer. Yeah. Even if, even if Marvel do it on the dime, which I'm pretty sure they would uh, for a, a minute cameo. Then. Yeah, that, that'd be great. It's just, you know, they are playing ball with Sony, like we've said earlier today. They, and they can work deals out with them. But I really think it would be... We would only see that if Daredevil is definitely in uh, Spider-Man 4. And that is probably something they would shoot while shooting Spider-Man 4. Because no way you're getting Tom Holland out just for a one-minute cameo to shoot. Especially right now, the time it is in his life where he's, he's very... You know, I'm taking a break... I'm chilling out a bit, so... As he should, uh, you know. Yeah. He's, the top deserves a break. He doesn't need to... He's had a busy life since he was, what, 18 years old? He doesn't He doesn't need to go... Like, I, I with me and Tom, it's like, I, I, I love I love seeing him in other things. I like that he's expanding his palette of, of what he can do act, acting-wise. He's done great. He's done great jobs in things that I've seen him in. It's just the films, unfortunately, they haven't turned out that well. And that's not by any fault by him, but I feel like he shouldn't have done that. He should have just taken a big, nice, big, long break. You know, enjoy the Spider-Man money. Enjoy just, just you know, enjoy himself. Um, yeah. He's worked really hard. He's been in loads of movies. Because, yeah, it's like, oh, he's, been in, he's only been in the Spider-Man films. No, he hasn't. He's been in, like, the Avengers films. And yeah, he's been Spider-Man America. in more films combined than Toby and Andrew, I think. Or of the or do they just edge him out with being in No Way Home? Because he's done three Spidey films. No, because look, he's done Civil War, yep. Infinite War, Endgame. Yep. His own three films, that's six already. Yeah. So Yeah. But I did say combined, so but Oh you mean like oh yeah, right. Yeah, so, so Andrew like, yeah, so, yes. so well yeah, because uh, uh Andrew's uh, is three, Toby's is four. So that's yeah. seven. So they right, the just beat him. They just beat him. But that's together. Yeah, but that's that's they're all together at the end of the day. It doesn't matter. Um Yeah, no, so I, I hope he gets to just take a nice break now and he can come back to this role. Yeah, he might be getting sick of it, which is fair enough. I do love seeing him as Spider Man though, and I really wish he would stay as Spider Man for a lot longer. I, I wish he I wish he's I want him to be the guy to transition us into Miles Morales. Yes. Because yeah. I want a fucking live action Miles Morales, but I really want them to set the angle that they've taken in the game where it's not multiverse, you know, ultimate universe versus normal universe. I want it to be 
no, there's a Miles in this universe, and Peter takes him under his wing. He's well yeah, he hands over the, the mantle to him, in a sense. Yeah. You know, he teaches him the way. So, with that being said, I think if Tom's going to come back to this, if he's only going to... I know they planned to do, what was it, like, six more movies after the third one came out, and I was just like, I don't know. I, I, think... I, I think he's contracted for five. I think he's got two. No. In his... In the updated contract, um, which apparently he's, he's signed another one since then, um, it was for one more film, uh, and it was for two more um, MCU film appearances in his contract. Okay. So, Secret Wars, Kang Dynasty, clearly. And we know now from reports that he's going to be a lead in them. And I think it's that what he's done now is he signed for the next Spider-Man films. So no way home. One of them films on his contract taken off, and he's got two more uh, crossover appearances on that other contract. And now I think he's signed another contract for solo it's, Spider-Man films. It's sad because I can imagine the stress that he must go through being Spider-Man. He must get a lot of hate. He must, you know, but at the same time he gets like a lot of personal invasion into yeah. his life. Spider-Man's like no role to joke around with. It's like if you are casted as Spider-Man, you are going. I to think be I've got the body for it. Around the world, no, you've got the fucking body for the Incredible Bulk, mate. I think you meant to say Hulk. No, mate. Bulk would be. Listen, mate. Next time I'm going to slap your testicles. <laughs> we haven't got testicles, mate. Yeah. What are you doing this weekend? Well, um, you know, let's I don't really know. Let's just Nothing. arrange some plans right now. Should we just let fireworks off in your garden? Why? It's, oh, it's, fucking... not, it's a thingy, isn't it? Yeah, on Sunday. So we'll do it on Saturday night. Fuck it, yeah. Yeah. I'm down. Right. Yeah, that's it. We're just going to let fireworks off in his garden. Dude, I'll tell you right oh, now, mate. You, we get to this? You don't want to be around me with fireworks. So just a warning. I don't know why, but... I remember someone sticking a firework up their ass and lighting it and firing it out. Not me. No, I think I know who it is. I'm not going to say it, but I think I know who it is. Your yeah, dad? I definitely have witnessed that. No. <laughs> well, okay. But let's get on some great news, Kyle. The strike could be ending soon. It could be ending soon. You know, they've been told they've got until the end of this week to make a deal. Uh, and if they don't, they're going to postpone talks until 2024. They got told that last week, but apparently they're making really good progress. They're um, they're nearly there with a deal. Uh, it's just they're still on the issue of AI. They're trying to figure it out. Uh, the thing that fucks me off about this is if they manage to get this sorted out by the end of this week, um, there was no fucking reason to postpone Dune Part 2. The actors could have been there. It was supposed to come out this Friday. <laughs> and now we've got to wait until March. You listen, fucking... Listen, listen, listen. I know you thought about it. I am too. Oh. I know, Callum. Oh. I know. Callum, Callum mad. But we still got a lot going on on Friday. we still got an action-packed Friday with lots to watch. You you especially, you've got some extras to watch, which is Gen V. So, Doom. mate, you probably wouldn't have had time. Doom. You wouldn't have had time, Callum, because you wouldn't. You wouldn't. You can't get any more. You wouldn't have had. You've got no work days off. You've got no days to take off. Dune would. have... Yeah, but it's me weekend off. And it would have been. Uh, Dune would have been number Mate, one priority. You would, fallen, you would have fallen asleep in cinema. Ah, Dune would have been number one priority. Over right, Loki, over Gen V, over. Let's not talk about the negatives. Let's just talk about the positives. The, the positives being that it is nearly over. They've nearly come to a deal. Things are going to start going back into production. Obviously, we talked about Deadpool aiming for January. Uh, once this is all out of the way. So, about fucking time, I think. Now, we could hear news once we get out We're doing the show that negotiations have uh, collapsed and then we are well and truly fucked. 
So, yeah. Why why is my entertainment getting postponed? How hard is my life? It's all right, Colin. Life is so hard. We're just think, for it. Right, just think in, in, in about five, ten years, right? Something like that. So, let's say five years. I'll be dead. Well, no, but you'll have all this content to watch whenever you want. Look at look at look at when um you remember we were so excited for Civil War and we couldn't wait for it to come out and now it's like we can watch it whenever we want. We know every little thing in that film. Oh, just think of it that way. Why are you making it so nice? I'm trying to just be a bit positive because I know how much you were looking forward to it. And I was looking forward to doing two part two as well because I love the first film. Like We need was, that double feature. I fucking hated you for not wanting to go again because my we had that I I had that I thing. And I was like that for the whole yeah, thing. That's one like, of them weird films like Logan. When we watched Logan first time, usually with a film like that, we'd go back and we'd watch it again and again. Like the next all weekend, we'd be watching it. Logan was like, "We're gonna leave this a week or two before we go back." We didn't. We didn't go back to see Dune. We didn't, we didn't go back to see Dune. Um, but because I, I remember, I was like, and it came up saying Dune Part Two is coming next. I was thinking in my head, the next time I want to see Dune. Is before part two. I would have. I, I, I wish I went to go see it again. Obviously, I, wish... I couldn't hold me piss. I have seen it since then. At home. Not in IMAX. That's what I mean. I wanted to yeah. see it in IMAX again. But you, you little stubborn fuck. I mean, I've got an IMAX screen right there. Mate, yeah. Do you know what, as well, right? You wanted to go. I, I mean, I'm not to discredit, Black Panther was great. But I, I remember you kept ringing me up. And uh, you're like, do you want to go see Black Panther again? I'm like, uh... What, the first one? Yeah. I'm like, yeah. Eh, go on then. You're like, good, because I've already booked tickets. <laughs> yeah, but that was... No, you got to think about the like, state of mind we were in. That was like two... Didn't do that for No Way Home. That was two That was two weeks before Infinity War. No, not but two weeks. Daredevil was in No Way Home. No, no not two weeks. That was two months before Infinity War. And the two months leading up to Infinity War, I just wanted Marvel, Marvel, Marvel. We saw we saw Black Panther before we went to see Infinity War in the cinema. We saw Black Panther and then at midnight we saw Infinity War. Sorry, me and Kyle are just talking about our cinema experiences today, but just letting you know what big fucking nerds we are. I'm a geek, not a nerd. I'm a... I'm a nerd. Fucking loser. Yeah. Anyway. Uh, say something else that I could segue onto the next topic. Um... CGI. CGI. Speaking of CGI, that was shit, Kyle. No, let's go again. Something else, please. Uh, Eagly from Peacemaker is CGI. Speaking of CGI, Eagles, uh, we got a new one in the in the te- in the teaser for uh, what is it? Good, making it up on the spot. Kingdom of the Planet of the Apes. Uh. I knew this film was coming. I knew they was doing a Planet of the Apes. Um, I only knew recently. I did not know it was coming this quick. I believe it's coming out in 2024. We're getting a trailer tomorrow. Um, so we we might even just do a solo video on that trailer tomorrow if it, if we watch it because I think me and Kyle are both pretty big fans of the Planet of the Apes franchise. Um, but what's... You know... I don't, wanna, I don't wanna say that I am, but I feel like I'm a bit more fan of it than you i don't i, f- I think you are uh, I, I just love all three movies they are each in their own like they feel like their own genre kind yeah, of they're thing. great in their own way uh, but what's your favorite Ooh. rise dawn or war i love rise for the for the origin of it i just yeah. have like fond memories of watching that film when i was when i was uh, a bit younger Dawn, I remember that just living up and exceeding the hype I had for the film. And then War was a bit of a slow burner, but still, yeah, yeah it was just like crisp. But the more I watch War, the more I appreciate it, the more I love the film. So it's like... Woody Harrison's fucking great in that. Yeah, if, if I'm wanting something a bit more... If I want some action-packed, I go with Dawn, Dawn. easily. I mean, I don't want to say it's the best one, but I think it, it it it's each film. I think I see I see equally because you've got Rise, which is like a, a bit of a nice heartfelt 
story, and then Heartfelt. like for the end, yeah. Huh? Heartfelt. Yeah. Why would so I say? It's, it's, you did say heartfelt. I don't know oh. if it's heartfelt. It's like a lot of depressing shit happens in it, like a virus that yeah, wipes out I'm, mankind. I'm about, yeah, but I'm on about like his dad and stuff, and he's trying to save his dad. And yeah, I suppose he's growing up. He's growing up, and he's raising you know Caesar, and Caesar's like you know he's he's just learning how how to fit in. And he doesn't, so he makes his own thing towards the. That's what I'm saying. Towards the end of the yeah. film, it then just kicks off, and then it's like, oh, this is it. Um, so, and then obviously in Dawn, it, it really gets into the the nitty gritty of the little post credit scene that we had. Like it really sinks into that. And then obviously with War, it it just deals with like a really beautiful revenge story. Yeah. That, no. uh, uh... Yeah. So each film feels like it's its own individual thing, but it, it all just beautifully, the story all beautifully just seems through um, and it, it just follows. Oh, shit. It all just follows. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. <laughs> oh fuck. Oh, fuck. <laughs> we, need, we need like a little caption thing that we can do where it's just like, oh, shit, in the middle of the screen. That'd be pretty funny. Anyways. I love all the films. With, with a fourth one, I was kind of happy with how War ended. You know, if they don't want to do anything further, fair enough, whatever. This film now, if they're going to do this, it needs to at least do the thing of like, oh, astronauts, an astronaut lands on Earth. It follows that story a little bit. Because they did tease that yeah. the astronauts got lost in Rise of the Planet, which is the first one. Well, the first one in, in this trilogy. Um, so, you know, it's... It, if it does that and it follows through with that, I'm all down for it. If it's if it's about an astronaut that's crash landed, um, and he's out of t he's a man out of time, I am so down for that. The the issue I'm facing is just I trusted Matt Reeves with this and he did it beautifully. Obviously, the do first you, one was a director. You know I fucking me. completely forgot Matt Reeves did what Dawn and uh, War War yeah, completely yeah, so, forgot about that. Yeah. So that's why I was excited for the Batman, because I was like, I love these films. Can't wait to see what it does with the Batman. So, yeah, I, I've i wanted so much more out of, like, the aftermath of Planet of the Apes. Um, I, I bought a comic um, from my local comic shop. And you can't fucking read. I, uh, I, I enjoyed it, but it was only little tidbits. But it's connected to that universe, but it's only, like, small little bits. You know, the little sub stories that don't really mean anything. So, yeah. there, there were good stories. Don't get me wrong, but I just I want like to see the next chapter and what happens. Uh, obviously, you've got Cornelius. Is that was that Cornelius in the trailer? I fucking hope so. The only thing is, then it's like, oh, we're not going to see Maurice. Maurice is kind of going to be like an on off screen death. Understandable if that's Cornelius. I'm pretty sure Cornelius is a. Uh, some when I was checking the cast earlier, someone was listed as a uh, Cornelius. It's probably it's probably the ape we saw in the trailer then because, you know, it at the end of the film at the end of the war. Oh my mic cut out. Yeah. Cornel Corn Cornelius was the only. I'm just gonna make sure it's plugged in. Cornelius was the only living. Um, relative descendant of caesar obviously caesar's uh his dad yeah. and obviously uh, you had um i feel i feel really bad for getting the other brother's name the one that gets killed sorry spoilers if you haven't seen it go go watch if you haven't seen it though i must say please go just if you've got like a weekend off it's raining outside you're looking for something to watch binge through Planet of the Apes. And you've got or, from every category on Pornhub. Oh, fucking hell. Or, <laughs> Completed it, mate. Twice. Order, order a good pizza, sit in, relax, watch all the Planet of the Apes films because they are all just magnificent. They're all like the story and everything. It's one of my favourite franchises ever. I don't think it is one of my fan favourite franchises ever. I've not seen the originals, the OGs. They don't really appeal to me, you know. Um, I will eventually watch them. But for me, when I talk of Planet of the Apes, this is what I talk about. Yeah, yeah, no, definitely. Um, you damn dirty apes. Malfoy from Harry Potter, first one. 
you know, the blonde kid. Yeah. Yeah. But yeah, how how are you excited for this anyways? I am very excited for this. I It's gotta be an IMAX though, hasn't it? It has to yeah, be an IMAX. Like I am like you, this is a I I'd say this is a sleeper franchise. Where it's like, you know, when I'm thinking about my favourite films of all time and stuff like that, and thinking about great films, I don't really think about it, but then when it's in your face, you think Oh my! These films are fucking amazing. It's you know I don't think I'm I'm very I'm very much in love with the last half of Rise. Uh, I think the first half's a bit slow for me, um, but Dawn and War. Yeah, I I get that. I get that with Rise. It's just the first half, I love seeing this. They don't shy away from like just seeing the yeah. origin story, and then you go and then. Because the reason why I love it so much is because you you jump forward a couple of years, obviously in the the, the sequel Dawn, and you just see the the change. But it's yeah. not like a, like a, oh he's he's completely changed character and he's not the same. It's like he's literally like you 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 know you get to see it's kind of like how Star Wars did the prequels. You know you see Darth Vader and then you see him as Anakin. It's that weird dynamic. It's the same yeah. character but a very different time, um, which yeah, is something and- I really love. You know, obviously, we say I, I think War's great. But I think War War is the the right kind of slow. Yeah. You know, it's compared to what rises at the beginning. The only thing I don't like about War is I don't think it should be named War because there's all there's there's not that much scrapping much. If I'm <laughs> if I'm completely honest with you, that's yeah. You know, like like your thingy with Multiverse and Madness is it really shouldn't be called Multiverse and Madness. Because they go to two realities. So, you know, more realities than I've been to, but... It's not madness, I mean... You know. So, yeah. No, I'm, I'm super excited for this. Um, I, you know, I'm very interested, though, to see how this actually turns out with, what is it, Wes Ball, the director of um, the Maze Runner films. Uh, so films I ain't seen because they, they very much fit into that teen... You know, drama sort of film that's just just a really appeal to me. Um, but I've I've heard good things about the Maze Runner film, so I gotta ask: Have you ever seen the Hunger Game? I have. What do you think to them? I've seen the first two. Have you, uh, Catching Fire is the second one, isn't it? Yeah, and I think a lot of people say Catching Fire is the best one. Yeah, I watched the 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 the, the third one was split into two parts. Wasn't that's it? that, and that's why I didn't because when they split it into two parts, I was like, "Fuck that." <laughs> I, I can't lie. I didn't really like the the the, yeah, the you know the the two parts. Um, not because they were two parts. I just didn't like the movie. Excuse me. I just didn't like really like the films. They just felt very weird. Um, the first one, the second one, not I think is phenomenal. Like when I first watched Catching Fire, I didn't like it as much. It felt like it deviated too much from what the original was. Mm. The first one. But I, I, the more I thought about it, I think I watched it again, and I was like, "This is a great film." So, yeah, that's my issue. That's my not issue, but that's my just a little bit of a concern. That being said, though, I've heard the Maze Runner films are pretty good. You know, they must have clearly made money because they made fucking loads of them. Um, how, do, 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 wait, did they only make three? If I'm not mistaken, I think that got part two. No, no, it was. Uh... I don't know how many they fucking made. They, they, look, there was more than one maze run. Clearly, must have made money. It clearly must have been good. So, you know, if this is gonna, if if Wes Ball is gonna take this on, he's gonna be filling in some very big shoes. Um, yeah. you know, I do feel confident with him though. Uh, taking hey, you never this... know. He might get a Batman film after it. Although we've got we've got two Batman franchises going right now. Andy Muschietti is doing one. Matt Reeves is doing another. Maybe not. But yeah, uh, we'll we'll see. I hope this this turns out well, and I'm very very excited. We'll, we'll, to... we'll have a bit more insight on it in the, on, when the trailer comes out tomorrow, and we can kind of get more of a gauge and more of a feel about what they're doing with it. You know, you're not going to know if a film's good or bad from a trailer. Um, well, there's some special exceptions for that, obviously. Um, but yeah, I I'm excited. More in this franchise is good to me. It's a franchise that hasn't been overdone as well because the films are like, you know, there was like two years apart and then three years apart and this is like what seven years since the last one so oh, I'm, I'm fine with that uh, but uh, yeah 
Um, oh, let's, let's add this on, actually. Um, before we go, I should have really added this, actually, but uh, just looking at your face reminded me. Uh, it follows. Mm. Yeah. Oh, we should have really done, like, an episode last night just talking about our favourite horror films. Yeah, for Halloween. Yeah, that would have been... Halloween. You know. Ah, fuck it. We'll go next year. Anyways, uh, just a quick off-topic here. Uh, one of my favourite... Oh, mate, you've just gone. You've just gone. He's just gone. No. And I was really... Kyle, I... mate, you were fucking gone. Oh. Mate, yeah, no, I'm just you've saying. You've just come back. Okay, like, right, anyway. No, he's gone. <laughs> so, listen, 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 listen. You showed me the first film, It Follows, and I thought, um, you know, horror, I don't really watch horror kind of things. I'm surprised you fucking watch it, mate. Like, did you watch that shit by yourself? Yeah. Jesus Christ. It's a phenomenal film. It's a strange concept, but really, really good. It's, it just it's either sex with loads of people is good, or sex with loads of people is bad. Sort of, yeah. Anyways, there's a movie, a little movie called It Follows. Uh, I'm sure it's going to be on a streaming service somewhere. Especially now that the sequel they follow um it's it's a bit of a horror being film gender inclusive it's, it's a bit of a horror film but i wouldn't say it's like like scary scary well no it's, it's not it's, scary it's creepy it's yeah it's very like because it leaves on edge kind of thing it's like oh yeah is, this is, yeah like, you know i um i don't it's not like say a film lights out i like i love lights out that is another great horror film but that one is fucking terrifying I literally, I remember I left my, like, I had a lamp on in my room and I left it on for like a week straight because that film traumatized me. And I, I wouldn't even, I think I was still in like college at that point. It just freaked me the fuck out. I didn't go downstairs at all uh, in the dark. I, it, no, it's not happening. Lights out, great, great, scary, scary film. If you're looking for something to scary to watch, watch that. It Follows, though, is, oh. The style of the film, I love it, and I, I it getting a sequel kind of came out of nowhere. Yeah, I this think. film's what nearly ten years old. I think, it, yeah. And it follows either came out in fourteen or fifteen. I'm gonna fourteen. Sh was it fourteen? Hmm? Yeah. So, yeah, it's that's nuts to me. Um, I, it's not. By the way. Don't think of it as it in the name. It follows. It's connected to the It movies. It's not. It's nothing to do with it. it it's It follows is something to do with in the film. Um, it's not nothing to do with anything uh, Stephen King or anything like that. It's just its own thing. It's it's a bit of an indie film, I'd say. Not yeah. not indie indie, but it's it's a smaller film. Yeah. But the, the style, like I still remember, just like watching the film. I I was like. Oh my god! I have to show my mum this because she's into like she loves all these horror, creepy movies. I'm like, you're gonna love this. Yeah, and, uh, you I remember your mum and you see mum. That's what happens when you sleep around with a lot of people. Now stop. <laughs> Such a dickhead. It's like but, a yeah. PSA, um, I suppose. Like stop they've shagging. They... <laughs> they've announced they fall that they follow. So we'll have to see what they do with it. Mm -hmm. Um, doesn't you know we. I don't think we'll get anything like a trailer or anything time soon. Maybe not because it was just an announcement. But it's good to know that we're getting a sequel for this really it's, good it's film. Like life works in weird ways because we were just talking about It Follows on Sunday. Well, I was talking about, about it with Zara last night because it was Halloween and yeah. we were like, what film should we watch? And I was like, It Follows is pretty creepy. It's not scary like you can have nightmares. But it's, yeah, pretty... it's not jump scares. It's, no, I don't think there's a single jump scare in that film. I could be wrong. It's, it has probably been about ten years since I've seen it myself. It's the best. It's the best way of saying like, um, you know how like people are scared of like the dark because it's the unknown. Not me, mate. Well, I just thought... well, this, well, this thing isn't like in the dark. It's just it's so unknown. It's such an unknown thing, and it's just it's like a weird urban legend kind of thing. That's what it feels like. Yeah, no, but uh... not in the sense of like Slender Man. Yeah, no, definitely. But I think that will do us for today. Um, so 
this has been Movies and Beyond. Like, subscribe, all of that good shit. We want it. We need it. We love it. Um, I'll just say to Kyle before we started to get, I said, started to, hmm? started today, I says, uh, as if we're still doing this. Kyle, oh, you know, I Kyle will that. tell you that I um give up pretty easily on things, and he thought I'd be doing this for a week, yeah, and then get out of the phase. But uh, we're still here, still going, you know. So yeah, hell yeah, and it's the fucking first of November today as well. What the fuck? Anyway. <laughs> Like, subscribe, all the good stuff. Leave a comment. Let us know what you thought about any of the topics down the side. Any of them, if you've made it this far in the video. Uh, I'll say it again. Why? Uh, <laughs> why? Why are you still here? Because it was so much to do with Avengers in the thumbnail, and we've already talked about that. So, why am I just on the side while you're cooking? Look at me. Watch something else. No, watch more of our content. Yeah. Preferably, Shall like, we... preferably the videos with, with just me and they're the best. Fuck you. <laughs> not doing this shit again. I'm out. Fuck, I've still got my shorts. They'll never take that away from me. Those are mine. I don't, I want, to take, I don't want to take your shorts off. Mm. Oh, do I? Mm. Mm. Anyway, um, so yeah, I, I suppose Friday's gonna be Gen V review, Loki review, and Invincible. Uh, you still need to watch that Adam Eve episode, so make sure you've watched that. I'm watching it tomorrow night. Yeah, uh, and uh, sweet, and I think we might do a video tomorrow, especially because that trailer's coming out. We're at least, I think we're at least going to talk about that because I'm, I'm interested. I'm excited. Yeah. So, uh, yeah. Uh huh. See you later, guys.